Hi everyone, welcome to Joe's Kitchen Capers. Today we are cooking a beef bone broth. So let yeah. me run through the ingredients with you and we'll make a start. I've actually got the bones soaking in a mixture of, I use alkalized water. So I've got here just a colander sitting inside a bowl and I'm just going to transfer our bones to this. We're going to keep using the same water. Oh, don't drop them back in or you'll end up with a bit of a face wash. And this is just really draining off the liquid so I can put the, them into the roasting pan and roast off. So I've put about a tablespoon or two tablespoons of a really good quality organic apple cider vinegar in here. Um, the one I've got is a Bragg's apple cider. So let's just drain these off. And I've got, there's three or four what you'd call soup bones from the butcher. They're a grass-fed, still a grass-fed organic beast they've come off. Okay, I'm just going to move our saucepan. Put the drained bones into an oven-proof dish to roast off and caramelise. Yum, look at that marrow. Now we can add our vegetables. I've got three stalks of celery and the leaves. I've chopped up an onion and I've chopped up a carrot. And I'm also going to just put those in. The other ingredients I'm adding are a few sprigs of Italian parsley, three bay leaves, some peppercorns and three cloves of garlic. Don't add these yet, they'll be going in later. And I'm just going to pop that into our oven now to roast off for about 20 minutes. So while our bones are roasting, we can put in our other ingredients. So we've got our bay leaves, got our parsley, and our peppercorns, and our three cloves of garlic. Here are our bones coming out of the oven. Turn that off. Let's have a look at them. They should have caramelized a little bit. Just turn our dish around. Be very careful because this is hot. Um, we're just going to transfer in our bones and vegetables into our liquid. That we So we'll put the rest of our veggies in there, get a scraper and just scrape all those juices in so we don't miss anything. And then we're just going to top it up with water and make sure our bones are covered before we apply some heat to it. So I'll start off at a higher heat because I actually want it to come up to the boil and then we're going to scrape off any scum that rises to the top and it's going to be turned right down to low to a slow simmer and cook for 24 hours. So here is our stock that's come to the boil. Now, if you have a look around here, you can see that this is bubbling up a little and it's creating what I call a bit of a scum. I've got a, just a bowl and a large spoon and all I'm going to do is scrape that off and pop it into our bowl. Now what this does it actually makes your broth or your stock a bit clearer because you're removing all those impurities from the top. And if you were making something like a consomme no, out of stock, you don't want this to boil that down because it makes it cloudy. But it can also make your broth a wee bit bitter. So we're just going to remove that. And as it keeps starting to bubble, it will throw those impurities up to the top. I don't worry so much about the fat because when our when we're cooling this later on, it actually will, the fat will solidify on top. So that's also easily removed later. But this is the main thing that we want to um, take out. Obviously, as you take stuff out, it's going to reduce your liquid level in there. Now I've got my water, which is our alkalized water that I use, and I'm just going to So this is the process.
process we're going to be using and I'm just going to keep skimming that and then we're going to turn it to our lowest setting. You still want to see that it's bubbling um, just at a really low simmer and then it's, it's really just going to, once we've removed these impurities after 10 minutes or so, there's really not much more you need to do to it apart from keeping topping it up with water. Here's our lovely beef bone broth. Now this has been cooking for 24 hours now. You can see I've kept the water level up and we're just going to drain it and cool it down. It's a beautiful rich colour. So let's move it and start putting it into containers. I've got a couple of bowls here in a colander. I'm just going to drain off some of that liquid to make it easier to pour in. And then we can pour it straight into our colander. We're going to get approximately 6 litres out of this, which is a good amount to freeze down. Here's our broth ready to break down into containers. We're going to freeze it, so don't overfill your containers. It does expand as it freezes. It will. It's easier to cool down when you break it down into smaller containers. So we can do that and then pop it in the fridge or the freezer. Thanks for joining us on Joe's Kitchen Capers today. Hope you've enjoyed our first video. If you'd like to give us a big thumbs up or subscribe to our channel or leave a comment below, please do so. And we'll see you next time on Joe's Kitchen Capers. Have a good day. Bye.